Sustainable Civilization Engineering. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 228. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 228, August 6, 2017 edition. Let's talk, before we jump into the updates, let's talk about sustainable civilization engineering. What is that? Well, we now, as a species, have come to the point where the technology and the knowledge exist to create a sustainable civilization. So sustainable civilization engineering means putting together that knowledge and that tech technology and creating a sustainable civilization. If not now, when? If not us, who? This is what one community is doing. We're creating sustainable civilization engineering as open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions to help people create self-sufficient and self-sustaining teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to help others to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well. We call these solution models purpose to create additional solution creating models. And this is how we can create a sustainable planet through sustainable civilization engineering. Our idea of sustainable civilization engineering is to make everything modular. Make it modular so that it can be put together to create a complete teacher demonstration hub or so it can be implemented individually as either a guest house or an organic garden or as the education program taking each of the components that we are working on. And you can see them showing in the background of the video here, taking each of those components and either building the complete village or implementing them as individual modules or components of sustainability that can be used in whatever way people want to use them. Our idea is if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this idea, this concept, sustainability as a whole, as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And we think that this is the path to creating a sustainable world that will meet the needs of everyone now and into the future. Now is the time. Again, if not now, when? And if not us, who? And so we as an organization are bringing together, we're a 100% volunteer organization, we're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all of humanity and all life on this planet to create these teacher demonstration hubs, to demonstrate what is possible, to build an open source and free shared foundation that is an evolution of sustainability that combines the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and stewardship, true earth stewardship, putting those things together to demonstrate a way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, and enrolling the masses enrolling the public in the process of sustainable civilization engineering by making it a do-it-yourself open source project that provides more of what people want. We can create a world that works for everybody if enough people participate. And enough people does not need to be all of humanity. It only needs to be a small percentage. But if we demonstrate a model that truly is considered to be better than the way that most people are living right now. We think that a very large percentage of humanity could be enrolled in the process. And arguably, we could create a new paradigm of living, a new way of living that becomes the norm, a sustainable way of living that becomes the norm. And we think that that is a worthwhile venture. We think that that is a worthwhile investment of time and energy and a way to make a difference that can impact everybody. And if you run the numbers on the process, if we start a community, as we build one community, if one community in its first year is capable of inspiring two additional communities to begin, and those two additional communities can inspire four more communities, and those four communities could inspire eight more communities, and those eight communities could inspire 16 more communities, 32, 64, and so on and so forth. Each year, doubling, we can meet the needs of 7 billion plus people 
in less than 30 years. And that is crazy exciting. That's crazy exciting. Imagine if that, that, that inspiration, that stimulation of sustainability wasn't necessarily even teacher demonstration hubs. If it was just people integrating small pieces of sustainability into their lives, we could address world hunger. We could address homelessness. We could address, uh, obviously, starvation because of world hunger. We could address social injustice and equality. We could address the, address the lack of energy infrastructure globally by taking the resources where they're needed most and by becoming more efficient in the way that we're living now. And most importantly, I really do think this is most important, for those that are interested, we can become true stewards of this planet, taking care of the environments that we're in, in ways that are sustainable, that give back, that help the surrounding communities and spread beyond. Teacher demonstration hubs, specifically teaching others how to replicate teacher demonstration hubs with one community is the first place that people can come and visit and experience everything that it is that you see in the background of the video here, everything that it is that we're creating, everything that it is that we report on every single week, and so that people can take what it is that they like and replicate it and leave what they don't like. Open source and free shared so that it's modifiable, adaptable to different needs, and built on a foundation of highest good thinking. Thinking for the highest good of all of humanity and all life on this planet because we can. Not because we have to, not because we need to, but because we're capable of sustainable civilization engineering for the benefit of all of humanity. And for those on our team, we believe that that is something worth investing our time in every single week taking steps, moving down this path, a clearly defined path that is outlined in its complete specific detail on our website to create a sustainable world for everyone because we want to live in that world. Because we want to address what's going on right now with mass extinction. We want to address what's going on right now with people not having power. We want to address what's going on right now with people starving to death. 10,000 children starving to death. It's crazy the numbers if you look at what's going on. And we can do something about it. So if this sounds interesting to you, sounds exciting to you, get involved. Get involved. And stick around. Let's check out what one week of our team's progress and accomplishments looks like. Jumping into this next. So we are an all-volunteer, non-government, non-profit organization. Every donation we get goes into forwarding our mission. Nobody on our team has paid a salary. And this is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of sustainable civilization engineering and a world that truly works for everybody. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, added mountains, clouds, and other graphic design elements to the compressed earth block village render from last week. We also created the modified header and social media versions and added them to the page. The core team also continued working in SketchUp on the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We updated and added walking paths for the whole village and more plants, benches, and landscaping for the art area. Joss Ilunga, electrical engineer, completed his third week working on the electrical design details for the vermiculture bathrooms. This week's focus was version 1.0 of the breaker panel and updating the master file to include section views. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 22nd week helping with the heat recycling, communal eco shower, and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was designing the connection specifics for last week's plumbing designs so they connect properly with the shower and vermiculture structures. Heymanth Kodera, structural engineering master student, also joined the team and completed his first week with us by researching ideal bag thicknesses for the Earth Bank Village. You can see some of this research in his initial report here. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 80 of Dean's work, testing a new lighting plugin and reflections on a glass table in the main room with several objects on it. And Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued helping with the Treehouse Village Pod 7 renders. This week, he ran the initial test renders for all the perspectives we'll be showing from within the village. Samantha Robinson, 3D designer, also joined the team and completed her first week beginning work on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village Pod 7. 
This week's focus, as shown here, was modeling a custom bed design. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed another round of revisions for the DIY pipe furniture page. These included adding the new header image and four quick link images to jump straight to the four main sections on the page. The team also reorganized the sections and added more words to the instructions and diagram sections. Ashwin Patil, web developer, finished integrating the final edits to the highest good energy search engine. You can see some of this work here. Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued with her 44th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was further developing the best of last week's social dome lighting layout by adding more lights and additional room details. Rami Vudi, electrical engineer, also researched videos to add additional clarity to the PV solar microgrid tutorial. We added her work to the web page and also updated the header graphic, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued editing the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan hub page and the Food Bars page, and calculated the storage space needed for root vegetables, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the individuality lesson plan and the consciousness lesson plan. This brings us to 42 of 52 finished, which is approximately 80% completion. The core team also finished our behind the scenes research and summary of additional educational materials for the Montessori page. We also started the research for materials to be added to our Reggio Emilia webpage. Working with Sungum Stancic, PhD and PE, we also started developing the documentation for the evaluation and evolution component. Sungum also created a flowchart for the evolution process. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team, as part of working on the Highest Good Society search engine, updated all the pages shown here with current formatting and icons. The core team also invested several more hours researching and developing a spreadsheet showing where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. This information is needed for the new graphic and video we're creating to highlight the global nature of our team. Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, working on the back end of our website, also helped us recover all our social media likes that were lost from our upgrade to using the new site-wide SSL security certificate and protocols. And Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, working on the highest good network software, developed the program so that it is now successfully able to add and retrieve the user information from the back end database. You can see some of the behind the scenes work here. Well, there you have it. That's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards sustainable civilization engineering for the benefit of all life on our planet and creating with the intent to create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we've been talking about, everything you've seen in this video, visit our website, visit our written blog if you like a written version of all of our updates. Uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media. We are on all the different social media networks and you can manage your updates that way. And of course, thank you. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for watching to the end. 
Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the likes and the shares. It's one of the easiest ways to support our organization is just to like this video and share our information on social media. We need to get the word out. And the people that are, for everybody that's sharing our information, liking our information, it makes a really big difference. We're truly grateful for all that support. We're truly grateful for the donations that we get. We're truly grateful for all the emails that we get. And we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Until next week, thanks for following our progress. Have a good one.